now let's start right into the first um, part of this webinar, which is about the automated DBS extraction to tell you um, which approach um, Kamak is following. This is a short summary for those people who have already attended the first webinar, which was held by um, Stefan Gauger. Our instrument, uh, which we um, manufacture here in Mutten, Switzerland, is the DBS MS500. Uh, the technical specifications are that you have a five rack system where you can fit in up to 500 auto collect DBS cards. You have two extraction solutions, four rinsing solutions, four internal standard solution ports uh, with which you can spray onto the cards prior to the extraction. And the whole system is controlled by a um, externally purchased Kronos software which allows you to overlap um, the analytical process and the extraction. The instrument itself can be coupled to any major LCMS brand, which is on the market like Saix, um, Shimatsu, and Agilent. The DBS automation within the machine is um, depicted here. We have, first of all, a optical card recognition, which allows you to do photo documentation of your um, card. Furthermore, you have spot recognition, a barcode reader, a recognition of the spot size, roundness, and the center of the spot, which is um, important to extract right from the spot of, uh, from the center of the spot during the extraction process. After the optical card recognition, we have an internal standard application step. Uh, the internal standard application by a spray proce procedure was found to be the gold standard um, for this kind of approach, we have a spray application of a one square centimeter area over the center of the spot. The use of internal standard spraying compensates for extraction biases, and you can spray various volumes between 5 to 40 microliters. Um, the extraction itself is then performed under pressure by using a 4 millimeter diameter sub punch with variable volume. You have, after the extraction, a wash station, which rinses the extraction head to prevent contamination. The extraction with our system can be done into a sample loop of variable size or onto a trapping column. The extraction process works uh, like that, as depicted here. We elute with a elution pump into the um, um, the, the, the loop or the SP cartridge, which is fixed onto a 10 port valve. And in a second step, we elute from this loop or SP cartridge onto an analytical column and then further into the instrument. So we have analytical separation and detection. While we do the analytical um, separation and detection, the whole system cleans itself and prepares itself to be ready for the second extraction, which can be done in parallel. 